welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for joining me we're going to move into project number one which is a frame now i've made a frame earlier for my whatnot sale and it sold so i'm kind of coming in and um, making a different style frame and i'm coming in here and just layering up this frame with the diy paint color aviary now I have an inspiration piece, the first picture, the first frame that I made. And I'm going to show you guys right here. It's very rustic, very salvage looking. So that's what I'm going for here. And you see me come in with my heat gun to like heat up that paint. And then we're going to come in with this Mars orange color. And I'm going to kind of build in some layering here. And just coming in on the corners with this Mars orange. And I'm coming in with a small brush. Dabbing it on those corners. And then you're going to see me come in and blend. Now what I should have done is do one corner at a time. Because by the time I came to blending it was kind of drying. But the good thing about this is that the DIY paint is water soluble. And it reactivates with water. So I didn't put no sealant on it. So as I'm working here and I wet my brush, it's pulling off some of that layer of paint, which was not intended, but I'm going to go with it. And it's showing the underneath tones that of the paint that was already there. So I'm going with that and you see me dipping my brush into water, kind of repeating that steps of reactivating that paint and pulling some off as I'm working in that Mars orange tone getting the sides and getting everywhere and just adding it where i feel is best for this piece now of course i'm going to come in with some dark wax and i'm going to layer that up as well bringing in my wax brush making sure i'm offloading the piece and going over all of the frame with that dark wax by diy and like with any wax you want to come in after with your lint free rag and pull off all the excess here now the wax is a sealer so we don't have to worry about sealing the piece we're gonna let it set and harden and do its thing and now for the back i'm gonna come in with this burlap fabric here and i'm just gonna come in with my hot glue gun here and i'm just gonna go ahead and try to pull as tight as i can with this fabric so that it's smooth and it doesn't have any um, sagginess to it. And I'm just using my little rag here and pressing in that fabric into that hot glue gun and so I don't burn my fingers. And I'm gonna repeat that process all around for all four sides, coming in with my scissors and cutting off all the excess. Now here's the piece. Now I gotta decide what I'm going to do with it. And like my inspiration photo of the frame I did earlier, it had some salvage pieces on there. And I'm gonna come in with this metal little bracket that I found or hinge. And I'm just coming in once again with hot glue gun and I'm adding that to the piece. Now, this is a primitive chic video. So we're gonna come in and we're gonna add our little chic elements to it with some lace doily here. And I'm just cutting the corners and gluing that on and i add a little piece to the bottom and then i bundled up some greenery that i found in my stash and i'm using some floral wire i'm wrapping that around the base of the floral and then we're going to go ahead and weave that kind of through the back of the burlap fabric and that's how we're going to attach it and in the back i'm just going to twist trim that floral wire and then we have our bouquet we're gonna fluff it and then this project is done. Now, just a reminder, I am making these pieces for my whatnot sale and this is a live auction style selling platform that you make bids on. And I already have some of my shows already pre-listed and you can go over to whatnot and bookmark those shows. So project number two is just a metal holder and sometimes you don't need to upcycle or paint a piece, you just need to style it and give it a cute little um, decor for staging in your home. Now I'm coming in with my lace doily again because once again we're doing primitive chic vibes here. 
I found some wooden spoons in my stash. We're gonna add those in and a little bit of greenery. And off camera here, I add a tag so you'll see that in the staging part of this piece. Thank you all for watching. If you don't know, I do have a business page where I have share reels, info dates, projects that are coming out, listings, items, whatnots, and now I'm doing Monday bonus videos over there as well. Project number three is salvage wood. And I'm just taking this salvage wood piece that I found once again in my stash and I'm just cleaning it off. And then I'm going to come in with just a top coat of Rust-Oleum spray paint or sealer. And then we're going to add this salvage little metal cheese grater that I found in my stash as well. I'm still cleaning up and organizing my stash so I'm finding a lot of cool pieces you guys. And I come in with just this little clip here and a vintage um, recipe card holder or recipe that I got from a vintage book that I found at the thrift. Now I'm mixing here my junk journaling and my DIY. So I'm coming in and just clipping that after I age up the piece and coming in with some hot glue. And then I add these little pieces of greenery to the piece and then this project's done. Project number four is just a piano roll. Once again, you don't have to upcycle everything. This is just a simple staging piece. I'm tying a green ribbon around it, tying a bow, and then this is ready. I'm gonna add a little piece of greenery and then this is ready to stage into your home. Just laying on top of books, on a tray, even in a crock, if you have a crock, that would look really cute also. So what do you guys think? Are we liking this primitive chic vibe? Leave me a comment with your thoughts and go check out my friend Andrea at The Cutest Little Things. I've been watching her video. She's very primitive. So some of her primitive vibe is coming over to my channel as well. But give her a follow and a like. Once again, I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more DIY videos. And here are our finished projects. Last reminder here, you can catch me live every Friday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time over on my Facebook business page. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you all on the next one.